Hi everybody, welcome to the Paper Outpost. This is Pam. Want to make some fun and easy circle notebooks? These are quick and easy to make. You don't need to sew them. I just am showing a sewn demonstration on there in case you do have a sewing machine and you'd like to uh, sew along, but uh, you don't have to. And they make pretty flowers when you open them all up, but lots of extra writing space. A fun little piece that you can add to tuck into any pocket or any tuck spot into your junk journals or clip them onto the side of a page and they all tidy nice and nice and up nice and up really easy so there we go dirty hands messy desk but we're rocking today we're in the flow and we're having fun okay so let's get to this this is pretty easy don't we love that okay so i have been uh, using up some book pages yes i have yep um i've been feeling pretty good about it uh, blasting through this one book here and uh, okay so what you need are three pages one two three or three layers if you can take one page and fold it into three that's time but i would just say have your uh, face page have a lot of text on it so a nice big text block is helpful and then what you want to do is cut one edge flush with the text there we go and then you want to get your two inch circle punch okay it's a big mama and uh, you put your papers in there and you hope it punches oh it punched okay so we're good um, all right so now we have these and what I uh, did with this cover one is I whoops, dropped it I went ahead and I zigzag stitched around the edges to uh, stick all those three together I wanted the, it to this little notebook the circle notebook to have a little sturdier of a cover and um, uh, I don't have to sew it I'm, um, you can just glue them instead so let's do that and let me get my oh, it's nowhere to be found of course okay so we're just gluing on the mat here that's how my mat gets so nasty um it's all this glue stick and everything that's on here okay that's okay are you in shot okay so we're just going to glue and we're going to make sure we're close to the edges since we're not sewing and that will keep us all nice and close and happy you want to align it well when you put them together okay there's one not so hard right Glue sticks works well in this department. You could also use uh, um, any wet white glue will work. That'll make it warp a little bit. Maybe not the best thing in this case. Uh, an art glitter glue with a thin uh, metal tip and just run around the outside of the circle might be a good, a good idea as well. Okay, so this last one, we're just plopping on top here. And we are pretty good. And let's say we want to uh, pretend like we sewed it. So I'm just going to go ahead and make some little uh, faux sew hatch marks around the outside. Uh, to make it look like I, I just played around with this a little bit. Um, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so I'm just doing little tiny X's all the way around to mimic a sewing stitch. And uh, it's about, this is going to be the part that takes the longest. Okay, let me, let me do my X's faster. I'm X'ing around, X'ing around. X and around, da, da, da. that's probably a 70s song, isn't it? I bet it is. Um, okay, name that tune. Yeah, da, 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 da. And you probably can't tell from my amazing rendition. Um, and that's all I know of it right now. I can't think of the rest of it. Wah. Okay, uh, but I've, I've completed my faux stitching. Um, all right, so I'm gonna peel this off. I have this so far. I have lovebirds twittering in the background. Holly's probably having a snack right now. Maybe once he hears Mama yakking, he'll get to business. Okay, I'm going to take some. Um, okay, I'll take a different color. Yes, I hear you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take... Oh, I'm going to take pink. I'm going to take some pink. All right, here we go. Oh, I can't find my pinker, so I'll use... A, I'm using worn lipstick with the wrong dauber. I'm using it with a purple dauber because I can't find the pink one right now. Um, oh, Cross-pollinating, but they're close enough. You know what I mean? Okay, okay so I kind of have like a... A pinky rose color. That's fine. That's just dandy. I can work with that. Going around the edge. And um, there we go. All done. Okay, so now we want center pages. And I happened to grab a big page that looked like, oop, I can't really see that very well. Um, it's just a big, um, it's cop copy paper size, 8.5 by 11, but it's a parchment paper and it feels like um, regular thickness copy paper so one two I think I had to take I took two 
And then I punched it with that, and that, that was making my, my puncher happy. So two sheets of this was all it wanted to do. So let's, and I'm putting five, no, four sheets total, plus the cover makes five. So we've got one, two, three, four. Let me back it up a little bit. Can you see how, that better? Okay. And then I've got the cover. And uh, okay, so I'm gonna put this all together. They should all be the same size. I'm gonna take this little gizmo, and this is a 1 16 inch paper punch. Very, punch is a very small hole. And um, I have this linked down in my Amazon store if you're interested, but they, um, uh, if you don't have that, I would just use a needle and poke a hole in it and, and go that way. That's fine, that's perfectly fine. Don't, you don't need this gizmo, but it'll come through in a pinch and it makes its own pinch. All right, so there I have a little hole. Nothing too exciting, but uh, makes life easier. Now, I need to get a brad. All right, so let's say we got this brad. I got this little guy. He's got a short end, and those are the ones that are uh, desirable for these little tiny projects. Or you can even use the really super tiny ones if you want. Um, uh, that will work as well. You just don't want the ones, you can use the ones with the long feet, but you'll just have to deal with the long feet. You can cut them off, but then you have sharp edges and you gotta deal with all that. So I would say get some of the ones with the shorter feet and then hope you can get it through the hole. <laughs> okay, we're through the hole. Phew, okay, ta-da. So now we're just gonna flatten the, the wings on the back and we have constructed our little roundy loo. There we go. I know I have one more page, right? Yeah, okay. So that makes a little flower. And you could play with flower design here too as, if you wanted to. Um, I'm, I'm just uh, doing something more similar to uh, this guy right now. Uh, so basically he has a sticker. That's a sticker. And then a piece of bed sheet with a word stamped on it. So I'm going to create that now, which is pretty easy. So I'm going to check out my sticker collection here. And uh, I like these black and white ones. They're kind of cool. Um, kind of neat. Let's see, do you fit? Got a little pale. We need a little more darkness there. Um, let's see. I'm gonna find one. It's gotta be the right one, you know? How about these marigolds? They're kind of cool. Yeah, that would, that would work really well. Okay, so I'm gonna put marigolds on here because I already have a pink border so I can go with a black and white sticker. I think that would look nice on my frame. Sorry. And, uh, Oh, if I could grow that neck just a little longer. Oh, look, I have an edge coming off. Yeah. All right, there we go. That's off. I'm getting better at that. Yeah, I think it's like a, it's a learned, it's a learned skill. Okay, so we got that down. Now we have this. Okay. And now I'm gonna put a little word there. And made a bunch of these the other day from uh, bed sheets. And I think, what do I want? Oh, passion, that might be nice. Yes. Oh, I think I like that. Okay. So when you want to take just one word off and you want the torn edge look, I don't want that close. Oh, because I have uh, magnets stuck in my scissors. <laughs> Who knew? Okay. Just do a little cut and then you tear it the rest of the way and that gives you the torn edge look. And if it's uh, not torn edge enough, you help it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you, that's what you do. And put that over there. Boop. Okay. And maybe is this too, not the right size? Oh, it's not bad actually. Oh, knocking over my glue, can you see? Okay. Okay, there you go. Better positioning now. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue this guy on there. Maybe I'll make him a little smaller, just so I, I can say I did. Okay, there we go. I got my little frayed edges, looking very cool. Get all the loosey gooseys off. And, and glue him down. Um, you can glue it down different ways. I'm gonna use Fabrifix because it's a uh, fabric to paper, but you can really use any glue here. It's just a little amount you need, barely tackiness, but enough to grab the material. But Fabrifix is designed for fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper, it works well on too. Okay, here we go, that's gonna stick good. And you wanna apply it thin so you don't get bleed through onto your uh, material. So we have just made this little guy in like, I don't know, just a few minutes. That was pretty fast and easy. Okay, so complete. All right, so very fun, very easy to tuck into any pocket or any um, tuck spot, or you could even 
uh, hang this over a page like that, do something like that. Or you could clip it onto a page with, say, um, a paper clip. You know, that might look cute on the side of a page somewhere. Very cute. Um, so lots of possibilities there. All right. So the Circle Notebook. This is the Circle Notebook. You have been dubbed. Yes. Such an amazing name, I know. All right. Uh, where's my other guy? Okay, he's over here. He's Mr. Thoughts. Yes, we're having thoughts. So um, let me uh, try and make another one of these. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see what else we could do. We have two of these and I'm short one more, so I think I need a little more thickness. Now the other one, let's see if I can get a whole circle out of this half of this book page, because it doesn't, it's gonna go in the back, so it doesn't matter if it's perfect or not. Yeah, I got it, I got it. All right, so let's glue these babies together. Whoop, in, in, in frame. Okay, do 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 do. Alrighty, and let's just glue this guy down, Go, making sure to glue the edges. And I'm just making the cover a little thicker. Um, it's not mandatory, but uh, I think it, I think it uh, makes it a little sturdier. And uh, if you sew it around the edges, that even increases the sturdiness factor, which is another reason I like sewing them. But um, it's not mandatory, and you can have just as much darn fun without sewing. I want you all to know that. But if you do get brave and put on you know, your sewing pants and you decide to give sewing a try, it is awesome and it can really make things a lot more fun. Not more fun, but different fun. You can just have different fun. Yeah, that's a better way to say it. All right. Okay, so let's try a different faux technique. <laughs> uh, let's try... Um, gosh, part of me wants to... You know what I want to do, right? Yeah, I want. I do. I want to use the liquid pearls around it instead. But I think I'm going to ink it up on the edges. And don't get mad at me. I'm going to use brown this time. I know. It's a walnut stain. Yeah. Uh, because I think it's going to help my uh, liquid pearls stand out. But I'm not going to liquid pearl anything until the bitter end. Because you know what happens when old Pammy goes to town trying to uh, put her liquid pearls on too early, disaster pants. So we're not letting that happen. We're going to be methodical. Yes, oh, and I have some circles already punched out here. How cool is this? I have one, two, three, four, ready to go. Awesome. So basically the same thing. I just uh, I, um, took two sheets and punched out a bunch of circles, and that gave me a bunch all at once. And uh, now I'm going to punch my little hole. All right. Now they're all the same size, so get them lined up. Yeah, take that extra moment. It's worth it. Yeah. Okay, you can clip it too if you want to clip it, but I'm just, I'm feeling bold today. I'm just going to go in and I'm going to snip it. All right, punch it. That's what I'm going to do. Ready? And punch. There we go. All right, so I have the hole. Now i got to find a, a, br oh, a brad. Don't drop all the brads, Pam. Oh my God, that'd be a disaster. Uh, okay, so what do we got here? What's that? Let's try you. Okay, that's a tiny, it's a tiny one. I don't know what size these are. Some are, some are, you know, they're big ones, little ones, and in the middle ones. This is a tiny one. Yeah, and that will work too. The same holes. Okay, now all the holes went uh, awry. Okay, let's see if we can get everybody organized and back where they're supposed to be. One, two, oh, no. <laughs> one, two, three, four, and five, the fifth layer. Okay, and uh, now I'm gonna go to the back and open up the little butterfly wings. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, there we go. Butterfly wings are in place. Now, let's look for a different butterfly. Maybe, let's see, we got some here. You guys, you guys are too big, right? Yeah. Oh, here's a smaller one. Oh, he's much smaller, yeah, but maybe we want more color than that. Maybe we want, yeah, a little more intensity. Jump off that page, that's what we want. Oh, you're pretty, let's see you. Yeah, you're kind of pretty, let's do you. Okay, we'll use you another time, don't worry. Yeah, you know, you'll get used. Yeah, everybody has a job around town here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, now you get to watch me peel this. Okay, this could be microseconds. I've got so much glue on my fingers. Um, or it could be, we'll be here till next week watching Pam peel this off. All right. Oh, I think I got an edge. Hold your breath. I know all the tricks. Nothing works for me. I've got fumble fingers. Um, 
or maybe I don't know all the tricks because that's why I'm still struggling. But uh, I've tried the pin, I've tried the tape. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. I got it. Yeah. Sometimes it's just the luck of the draw. And then uh, you can either keep those extra things or, or cast them off, whatever you choose. Doesn't matter. Put them in any random place. Okay. So we have that looking very cute already. Okay. How cute is that? Now, let's say well, we could just stick some words, do some layering. We can play with layering. Let's play with layering. Okay. Uh, maybe we want to do like a baby cluster on there. Maybe we could do something like that. Okay, let's try that. Let's just try baby cluster. We just have scraps on the desk. Let's use what we have. That's always nice. All right, let's make some little strips of something here. What, what's a double? Okay, we'll do that. And uh, what else? We, got, we have to have something else on there. Oh, oh, how about some? Oh, yes, yes, this needs to be on there too. I don't know how, but we'll get it on there. Oh, it's getting exciting now, isn't it? I know. I know. Hold your breath. <laughs> we should put it like that. Yeah. Have that one on top. Let's try that. Or maybe we should do it like that with that on top. That looks nice too. Okay, let's do that. All right. So I'm going to use uh, my Scotch Create glue stick. And uh, this is just a very strong permanent glue stick that I've, I've had good luck with so far. I'm very happy with it. Um, uh, there are other glue sticks out there, but uh, they have let me down. You know what I mean? They have really let me down in life. And uh, this one, this one just really seems to work well. Okay, so we have that. Now, I'm going to attempt to do something cute with this piece of eyelash trim. And if you happen to catch my other video with me playing with eyelash trim, it wasn't pretty, but I'm going to try and make a bow. Yeah, let's try that. I can make a bow. Let's see, eyelash trim. Oh. Eyelash trim is tricky. Yep. Okay, maybe I did it. Okay. Let's shorten that one up. Shorten that one up. Shorten that one up a little bit. How long are you? You're still long. Shorten you up a little bit more. Come on. Yep. Maybe a little shorter. Yep. Okay. We'll put all you down one way. Okay. Let's see. You can't, I don't know if you can really tell if it's a bow, but it looks like a cluster thing, which is kind of cool. So let me cut them, cut them off at the base. Almost looks like a butterfly. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Yeah, design um, continuity here. Um, so I'm just going to put that there on there and call that done. But I think I'm going to pull in the big old Fabrifix for this one since I'm working with a lot of floppy, a lot of floppy um, material flopping around here. And I want to, I want to glue it once and be done with it. You know what I mean? I don't want to be chasing that little, that little bow across the table. Okay, done there. Not going anywhere now. <laughs> you found your happy home. You're going to stay there. So we have that. And I could add a little word as well. Let me let me dig in my word box. We got lots of time, right? Yeah, yeah we do. Okay. Um, here's the word box. Oh, I can't see anything. I know. All right. Here we go. Word box. Okay. Let me look for something in here. Um, let's see what's on this. Nope. Oh. I'll find something in here. Lots of stuff in here. There's no shortage of words. Dig, Pam. Dig. Dig. There's word stickers. Yeah. How about, uh, okay. How about notes? Yeah. That's better than to do's. Yeah. Notes. Okay. Short. I think that'll, that'll work well. Let me just give it some tear action here. Could look a little rattier. And, uh, do we want to ink up the edges? Just a little. Yeah, why not? We're here. Oh, I was going to go around with the stickles and the stuff. Don't let me forget. Okay. All right. I'm going to put that there. 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 Here. There. Oh. All right. There. No. Oh. All right. We're just going to, we're going to decide. Okay. Here we go. I'm using the glue stick. Okay. Let's see. Mm. I'm going to put you there. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> Just said there. That was the place for notes to go. Okay, so now let me grab the uh, the liquid pearl of choice today. Let's see what we got. Let's go look in the bucket. Let's see what's in the old tickle trunk. Anybody remember the tickle trunk? All right. So I already have like a pinky one up top there. Now should I go with that? No, I'm going to change. 
Um, we could go with a green. That would look cut. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so this is ancient gold. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Ancient gold. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Okay. Sometimes I can see better without my glasses, depending on the distance. So, you know, it's a, it's a bit of a juggling act here. Okay, here we go. Ready? Um, I'm going down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up. Oops, down up, down. See, if you drag, then you get little drag marks, but you can kind of um, wipe them away quickly if you do it right away. Down up, down up. But if you go down, up, down, up, straight up, then uh, your little dollop, teardrop, pearl drop looks like a real pearl when you're done. Yeah. All right. You can even fool rigid mother-in-law, mothers-in-law. Yeah. How about that? There we go. All right. Now we have that. Yeah. How's that? Pretty fancy pants, right? Who needs to sew? Nobody here. No. Sewing's just optional. All right, so there we go. We have that one. Isn't that cute? Now I would fl fillet it all out for you, but uh, or display it all out, but not right now when it's all... Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, not too bad. We just... Okay, I have no idea how that happened. And that, that just happened. <laughs> that was a gremlin, right? Total gremlin action there. All right, there you go, folks. Um, just a quick and easy, just something fun to tuck into your journals. Thought you might like this. Another great way to use up book pages. Um, if you don't have stickers, you can use uh, torn pages from a book. Maybe you have a flower book or something like that. Or you could uh, make little watercolor flowers and put them on there. Or do rubber stamps and put pictures on that way. Or, um, uh, you know, there's all sorts of things you can do to uh, get little images on your on your work. So don't worry if you don't have the exact supplies. It's not necessary. Uh, pretty much any Brad will do. Um, and uh, you can sew or not sew and just have fun with these sorts of things. So if you enjoyed today's video, please like, subscribe, and share. And uh, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of all my videos that I put out. And uh, let me just zoom in there so you can really look at those uh, liquid pearls drying. <laughs> right there. Yeah, right there. And... Um, uh, all my, my Amazon store link is down below. If you click on that, you can see um, lots of these supplies in there. So you, if you're looking for something and can't find it out in the world, you may be able to find it there. And um, uh, check out my digital kits online on my, in my Etsy shop. They're available anytime. Um, all sorts of different topics from uh, mushrooms, Victorian people, vintage led ledger, ledger, and uh, tickets, and all sorts of stuff. Um, so have fun perusing those. Oh, if you haven't joined the free monthly email newsletter, um, please do. Um, the link is below the video as well, and um, you get a free monthly digital image with that, along with a checklist of supplies for any journal maker who's uh, roaming around their world trying to pick up supplies that might be fun to create your journal with. Um, they're basic and advanced. You also get the note from the bookmaker. My videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays at 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcast, which is junk journal related topics, comes out Tuesdays and Thursdays. I have playlists down below and at the end of every video so you can check out more stuff if you find this fun. And um, Instagram, Pinterest, Etsy, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook is where you will find me as well. And uh, come and join the Facebook group. It's a lot of fun. We do weekly and monthly challenges there and you're welcome to lurk or jump in and ask questions or uh, post what you're making. A um, lot of fun stuff. All junk journal related. And uh, remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. Have fun out there. Take care. Bye. Till next time.